Hi, my name's John Cronet. Today I'd like to show you how easy it is to set up a Siemens Ciprex WT-231. The WT-231 is a scale for non-automatic applications such as bin weighing systems or platform scales. You can see I have set up here a Siemens WT-231 with a Ciprex bending beam load cell, a mounting base, and an elastomer bearing, and I also have a one kilogram calibration weight. You can see the Cibrex WT-231 has a graphic display for easy setup. To start the setup, we'll touch the wrench in the upper left corner. Next, we'll select Setup, and then Quick Start. To change any parameters in the WT-231, you first have to enter the service mode. The service mode can be password protected to prevent accidentally changing a parameter that might affect the scale's accuracy. I've disabled the password feature in this unit, so we can go straight into the service mode. Next, the unit will ask if you want to do quick start with the existing parameters or do you want to set the unit back to factory defaults. I've already set this unit to factory defaults, so we can select either option. The next screen will have six fields with information needed for the setup of the unit. The first field is the scale name, which is an optional field, but we'll enter S1. To enter S1, we'll tap the field and we'll just enter S1. The next field are the measurement units. We'll enter pounds for this application. The next field is the indicator for gross. In the US, G is almost always used as an indicator for gross. So we'll leave that as a G. The next field is the scale resolution. This will be the smallest increment the scale will display. So we'll change that to 0 0.001. The next field is the minimum weight value. This parameter is only used in custody transfer application. It's the minimum weight that could be used for a custody transfer. For this application, we're just going to enter a 1. In the next field is the maximum capacity of the scale. This is a 10 kilogram load cell which converts to about 22 pounds. So we'll say the maximum capacity of the scale will be 20 pounds. We'll save these parameters and advance to the next screen. The next screen will ask you if you want to calibrate with calibration weights or do you want to enter the information from the load cell. We'll enter calibration weights this time. So we'll select that. The next screen will ask you for two calibration points. The first calibration point will almost always be zero. And then the second calibration point will be the weight of your calibration weight. In this case, we're using a one kg weight. So we'll enter 2.205 pounds. We'll save that and move to the next screen. The next screen is the calibration screen. To perform the calibration with no calibration weight on the scale, we'll touch set cal weight zero. Then we'll place the calibration weight on the scale and touch set cal weight one. Now we'll go back to the home screen and you can see that the scale is now calibrated. And that's all there is. The scale is now set up. Now let's say for some reason you can't use a calibration weight because maybe the scale is too large or you just don't have a weight available to you. Well you can also set up the WT-231 using the information found on the load cell. Now we'll step through that. So now I'll demonstrate how to calibrate the scale if you don't have a calibration weight available. Again we'll go back to the screen that asks what type of calibration you would like to perform. And this time we'll select an automatic calibration. The next screen will ask you several questions about the application of the load cell. The first question is the line power frequency. In the US, line power is at 60 Hz, so we'll select 60 Hz. 
The next question is the number of load cells in the application. Here we're using one load cell, so we'll enter a 1. The next field is the characteristic value. This is information that can be found on the data sheet of the load cell. I know that the characteristic value of this load cell is 1.9935, so I'll enter that. And then the last field is the capacity of the load cell. This is a 10 kilogram load cell, which converts to 22.05 pounds. So we'll enter 22.05. We'll save these parameters and advance to the next screen. So now we're back at the calibration screen. This time the calibration screen will only ask you to set the zero calibration. So we'll do that. Now we'll go back to the home screen, and you can see that the unit is calibrated. 